Gonna try this again. Switching connections. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Give it just a sec. Okay, I have a solid green light on my monitor. Ah, oh, finally. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it was probably pretty ambitious of me to think that I could do a live stream today. As we've been hit with an ice storm here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, yeah, we were hit with an ice storm last night in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, schools have been canceled all across the state. The ro roads are slippery as heck. I let my dogs out this morning to go to the bathroom and they were slipping all over the driveway <laughs> to the point where I, I, I didn't keep them out long. They went to the bathroom, they came inside and now they're resting by the fire uh, because um, it's so wet outside. So of course, of course Comcast is gonna have a hard time with maintaining a connection today because they just, they just can't handle any sort of weather. If it's windy, connection is bad. If it's snowing, connection is bad. If it's a nice storm, connection is bad. And uh, it looks like that is the case today. I'm broadcasting on um, my mobile hotspot and I've already done one entire broadcast on my mobile hotspot. So I don't know how much data I have left for the month. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to cover the entire broadcast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get as far as we can today on my mobile data. And then we'll, tr if, if it shuts us down, we'll switch to the uh, landline connection and see if everything is restored by that time. That's the goal for today. Uh, but looks like I've missed some super chats. Uh, Josh Bunton sent one in my last in my earlier attempt to broadcast, he said, Ox, you inspired me to pick up the game and I've been enjoying playing a sorcerer so far. All right, that's awesome. Thank you, Josh Bunton. Glad you have been enjoying Baldur's Gate. I uh, haven't done much with my sorcerer, so I should probably, yeah, I could probably use some tips from you. Diamond Lions FC a member for six months says, six months as a member, but years as a viewer. Love the Fallout 76 live streams. Will you be jumping back into Fallout 76 beyond expeditions for new lore on the Blue Ridge Caravan Company and more? I don't know. I might. Uh, I've been thoroughly underwhelmed by the expeditions. Every single one of them has just been meh for me. Uh, so if they ever come out with a DLC sized story. Like if they add to the story in, <clears throat> in a DLC format that expands upon the lore of the universe and adds more characters and new quests, then yeah, maybe, maybe, but until that point, probably not. I'll probably broadcast from time to time with Fallout 76 and, and uh, leave, leave it mostly alone. Jonathan H., a member for 11 months, says, How's it going, Ox? Mount Desert Island and the rest of Maine's coast looks like Fallout 4 because we had two really bad storms, docks and houses destroyed. That's awful, Jonathan. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm doing all right. You know, we, we tend to be spared the brunt of nature's fury here in the Pacific Northwest. From time to time, we'll get some bad storm, but it's, uh, you know, it's pretty mild. So I'm pretty lucky where I live. But I've been reading the news and it sounds like the rest of the, uh, of the continent here is suffering through a really rough winter right now. I mean, we're in the middle of an ice storm that's knocking out my internet, but still, it's, it's, it pales in comparison to what so many other people are going through right now. So, sorry to hear about how things look on Mount Desert Island right now. Hope you guys get through it all right. 
We are live on Facebook and Twitch as well as YouTube today. It's great to see my Twitch subscribers continue to grow even when I'm not online. Uh, it's a huge relief to see that continuing to grow. Good to see the Elder Irish on Twitch today. And we crossed a threshold on YouTube. I finally passed 1.6 million subscribers on YouTube. Hooray for that. I feel like I was uh, in the 1.5s for years. <laughs> it was so funny because I, I started at like 3K back in 2015 when I started doing my Fallout content. Before that, I only used this channel on YouTube as a destination to save my weekly episodes of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Because when I was doing my career, I didn't have time for gaming. I, I did my weekly show, Scotch and Smoke Rings, once a week for years. And that was the only content I was producing. And so I, my channel only accrued like 3,000 subscribers uh, up until that point. Then I started doing Fallout content. And within one year, I went from 3,000 subscribers to over a million. <laughs> it just grew exponentially. But since then, I feel like this, this second million has been really slow. Really slow to accrue. So it's, it's good to finally pass the 1.6 million uh, mark. That last 100K took forever. But it's evidence that we continue to grow. And I love that. And it's good to be here. Toby Noble says, any hint on Scotch and Smoke Rings game, space horror or space horror games, lol? Spooky is fun. I'm definitely going to make my decision tomorrow. I usually... Use the day, the, the day of to um, download and install new games and figure out what I want to do. I'm kind of curious about System Shock. I, the, the remastered version of System Shock. I watched a number of videos. I've read the reviews. It seems to be really well received, uh, the remastered version. So maybe we'll tackle System Shock. That's kind of where I'm leaning right now. But ultimately, I haven't made my decision. Alt Grindle says, any final thoughts on Alan Wake? Uh, I went over my thoughts on Alan Wake uh, during my broadcast yesterday. Um, the final thoughts would be that I'm glad I played the game and I thoroughly enjoyed the vast majority of the game. I'm frustrated by the new Game Plus um, era of story storytelling that we've entered. Uh, I, I think, ultimately, if you're going to use New Game Plus to hide the true ending, then you're showing disrespect to your viewers, right? Uh, and I was going over this in my head the other, uh, yesterday after I finished the game because it left a, uh, a nasty taste in my mouth. I, I, I went after the broadcast and watched the real ending, right? The ending we actually get if we beat New Game Plus. If we replay the entire game again... I, I watched a 20-minute video that showed everything that changes. That's right, everything that changes can be encapsulated in 20 minutes, and it's just a, a new video from Dr. Darling that we can see on a television, and it's a few dialogue tweaks in some of the notes that we find, and, and the, the changes aren't that elaborate. It's, it's just Alan Wake or Saga going, I feel like I've done this before. Or, why do I feel like I've, I've been here before, right? That's ultimately the major changes. The new uh, television show that we get from Dr. Darling is interesting, uh, but I wouldn't say that it's groundbreaking or anything. And then, of course, the ending. They, ch they change the ending and they give you a happier ending. So, it's not a lot of content that changes in New Game Plus. And so afterwards, I was just thinking just how frustrating it is. I was taking a look... Uh, uh, at some of the Steam achievements, right? Because I've been playing a number of other, other games and I'll, I'll rack up these achievements. And uh, on Steam, it'll tell you, you know, 17% of the players got this achievement or 2% of the players got this achievement. And I, I see consistently in almost every game that I play, the vast majority of players don't beat the game, you know? They'll get through the first act or two of a game and then they'll trail off. Uh, for, for every single game that I've been going through on Steam, the achievement you get for getting the final boss or for finishing the last act, it's like 25% of the players got it. Or sometimes it's lower than that, 14%, 12% of the players got it. So for a player to go all the way through your game, it's already a diehard fan of the game. The person who beats your game is in the minority. 
That person has already dedicated a lot of time and energy into playing your game, into beating your game. He or she is invested in the universe already. And to rob that player of the actual ending of your game is just total disrespect. To say, yeah, you're the minority. You're the rare person who actually beat my game. But I'm not going to reward you with the real ending. I'm going to hide that ending, and I'm going to make you go through the entire game again. You have to play the entire game again, and then, then you really find out what happened to Alan Wake. That's bullcrap. I'm not saying New Game Plus is inherently a bad idea. I think New Game Plus is fine if you're locking skins and, I don't know, maybe new ways of, of combat, uh, uh, different ways you can tweak your character. But story? No. You can't hide story behind New Game Plus. I feel strongly about that, and I think it's disrespectful to the player to do that. Now, I still really loved Alan Wake. I really did. I thought it was an excellent game with uh, amazing storytelling. Uh, I think that combat was a little clunky and frustrating. Uh, really, my biggest complaint is with the New Game Plus uh, thing that they decided to do at the very end. That said, there are some storyline elements that are clear as mud that they don't expound upon. Uh, I was Googling some of the characters afterwards just to try and come to grips with the story, and there were some things where I was like, really? Because I didn't get that in the gameplay. That, that's the story, really? I, I missed that. <laughs> there are a few things like, huh, I didn't make that connection. Uh, so the story is a little bit opaque in, in places, but it was uh, really a fun universe to explore. So those are my thoughts on Alan Wake. Cheyenne Williamson says, heat wave of six degrees uh, in Indiana today. What's the temperature there? I'd have to look it up on my phone. It's actually, it's on my fan, isn't it? I think it says 42 over there. I could be wrong. It's, it's not that bad. Like, I, I can't complain. Yes, we're in the middle of an ice storm over here. It's knocking out power and internet in places. But at least it's not six degrees, right? I can't complain. Jonathan H. says, for context, we had two back-to-back windstorms with massive tides. The power of the ocean was on full display. Mother Nature is powerful. Yes, yes, she is. Two back-to-back windstorms. Wow, that's, that's intense. Jonathan, I wish the best to you and everybody on Mount Desert Island today. Julian Z says, Hi Ox, what are you replacing Alan Wake with from Monday? I haven't made my decision yet. I'm kind of leaning towards Phantom Liberty, but again, I haven't made my decision yet. I'll let you know as we get closer to Monday. Sarvis the Drow says, Not sure if it's up for consideration, but Cyberpunk's 2077 Phantom Liberty deal, say, oh, there we go, is worth playing. Hope you'll come back to that game someday. Well, thank you, Sarvis the Drow. That's actually been high on my list, and uh, I'm considering uh, tackling it. I haven't, I haven't uh, played Cyberpunk in years, you know, since we beat it back when it first came out and it had all of the issues. So uh, I need to reinstall the game and see if it still works with my hardware and, uh, you know, do some tweaking. But maybe, maybe we'll see. That's kind of uh, where I'm leaning right now. Darquan Mortis says, System Shock is a good choice. Hope they will remaster System Shock 2. Would like to see it played by Ox. Thank you, Darquan Mortis. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I know that it's a classic, and I never really got around to it. I kind of missed it when it came out. So um, I'm, I'm glad that they remastered it so players like me can enjoy the story of that particular game. Leafy says, would you like uh, wood paneling in your office walls? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I would like wood paneling in my office walls. My office is weird. I, I mean, I like my office. Don't get me wrong, but it's mostly window. That entire wall over there is window. And I've got my desk here, but then that portion of the wall over there is window. I've got a portion of the wall over there is window. So there's not a lot of wall space for things like shelves and paintings and decorations. I've got a little bit of wall space over there behind my computer and my camera, and then I've got this section that I've occupied with shelves for my display, and then that's it. Everything else is window, so. Not sure what a lot of wooden paneling would do, but it certainly would add a bit of ambiance to the, to the office. 
The Wasteland Wanderer 168 says, I love the vids, Ox, and they make me laugh. Thank you, the Wasteland Wanderer. I'm so glad. Uh, I have had a great time putting my shorts up uh, so far this week, and we've got some even better ones. Uh, my editor has been working really hard making the shorts as wonderful as possible. Many more to come. Shady uh, F117 on Twitch says, Ceiling room? I mean, I do have a ceiling. Yeah, I could I could put wooden paneling on the ceiling. I've got a, I've got a tall room here. I don't know what what that would do. I mean, it would change how the light bounces around the room, I suppose. Sebastian Sanchez says, "I think you'd have fun pay, uh, playing Ninja Gaiden Remastered for Scotch and Smokers. Ninja Gaiden. Well, it's certainly room for thought. I'll have to add it to the list." Thank you very much. Rachel says, I must know. Did you cave and buy props? Yes, Rachel. Yes, I did. Thanks. I did cave and buy props. It was that night after the broadcast. Um, I, I just went down a, a rabbit hole of Etsy. Etsy creators. And I bought... Really expensive. I spent way too much money on Starfield props, so I have the Digi Pick. I didn't need another one, though. The Digi Pick that that particular seller was selling was amazing. I kind of regret getting this one because this is nice, but it's you know it's just 3D printed and the lens is opaque. But the Digi Pick that that uh, that particular creator made actually had a clear lens with a lit up back lit portion that showed the puzzle, the mini game of lock picking that you do in the game. So uh, I think that would have been a really cool one to have, but this one's also really nice, fits in the hand. Anyway, yeah, I ordered a bunch of chunks and a data pad, yeah, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll show it all when it gets here. It's probably gonna take a while because all that stuff's gonna get handmade. But when it gets here, I'll let you know. Leafy says, finally got my super chat to go through. Don't know why Ox streams always give me trouble with super chats. Love you, Ox. You're the best gamer on YouTube. That's extremely kind. Leafy, thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad you got your super chats in. I recognize your name, though, so I'm, I'm sure I've, I've read your super chats in the past. But uh, if you've had any problems with it, I'm glad it appears to be resolved. Maisie 88 says, hey, from the UK Ox, recently rewatched or, or watched your Red Dead Redemption 2 streams. Loved them. They were so funny. <laughs> we had a great time with Red Dead Redemption 2. Not only was it just a masterful game, but um, yeah, the, the combat is such that you can make a lot of hilarious mistakes with that game. It was, it was a lot of fun. Right. Well. We just stepped into Act 2. That's right. Last week, we finally completed Act 1. Uh, Act One. We defeated the grandma. We scalped her and got a superpower. Yeah, that's not even an exaggeration. Um, and uh, then we completed everything in the Githyanki Fresh. And we finally uh, crossed the road path, the mountain path, into Act 2. So it's time to pick up where we left off and see exactly where the adventure takes us today. Cat5 says, Oxhorn, do not explore yet. 
save the Harpers and go to their camp. Oh. Okay. Who are the Harpers? Have I stumbled upon them yet? Harpers! Okay. Right. So we've got a wooden chest down here that we'd have to jump down to get. But looks like we've got an easier time of getting there if we head through there. How am I doing on health? Everybody has full health. Your desire. Gale has all his spells. Still alive. So that's Go progress. Down. Should mind my step. Stay together. Keep to the light. Stop! Who's there? Well, we've got a lot of options, including the option to say, I'm a night fair. Or we could uh, pass a bar check to say, I find the best introductions are made while sitting around a fire, perhaps with drinks. You're a chatty shadow. I'll give you that. Come out into the light, hands high. Succeeded perception. What is that? It's me, hello. Jonas, move in! Journal updated, seek protection from the Shadow Curse. Uh, we could say move, I'll take care of this, or get ready to fight, or run! If we run, they'll be destroyed. Uh, let's try to save their lives. We'll say move, I'll take care of this. Don't let get hold of you! Harpers, now! Oh, we got more now. Oh, come on. I made that decision when I thought it was just one. One, two, three, four, five, six shadows. And a corrupted Harper Jonas. Twenty-four health. Oh dear. Okay, uh, well, these are shadows. This is a darkness, so presumably using some sort of light would be beneficial here.
Only affects one target at a time. Cat5 says you're still using torches in the main hand. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And how do I... That's going to take an entire turn, won't it? Jonas. Shadow cursed undead, temporarily hostile. Shadow cursed undead. Those who die in the shadows are cursed to remain there forever. These undead have reduced hit points and strength, are resistant to necrotic damage, and cannot use spell or weapon actions. Okay, so how do we remove that curse? Uh... What if we were to infuse this guy with the light? He's a zombie. No, that provokes an attack of opportunity. Okay, let's use our bows here. chance. Okay, let's put our weapons back. The Phalar Aluve. Is that the weapon that I had? I think it was. Nope, I uh, can't do that because it takes an entire turn, doesn't it? by Lady Shaw. Without a light source, you will take necrotic damage every turn. This damage doubles every time you are affected by... Okay, but I've got my torch on. Oh, I took... Um...
Do I have a throw? No, I don't. Marks your target with light, preventing it from turning invisible. That would probably do a lot of damage. Crap! I don't have the weapon equipped! Spend my time equipping weapons because I had my torches out. Target cannot be moved by force. And if I move, I provoke an attack of opportunity. I jump. I provoke an attack of opportunity. Right. What can I do with my mage here? A Netherese Orb Blast. Gale triggers the Netherese Orb in his chest to strike everything and everyone in a wide radius. That'll kill him too, right? So I probably shouldn't do that. Uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. Let's see, do I have any scrolls that... Uh, Okay, I mean that would that would be useful right now, but it would waste the entire turn. Scorching ray, magic missile. I've got some fire here. We've got this shadow right up on me. We've got this shadow right up on me. I'd love to start a fire here. I think that would help out. But I'm not really close enough yet, am I? 6 to 15 damage, 19 damage left, would 3 darts finish him off?
Absolutely not. Wow. I only did two damage per shot. If I get up here, that will not provoke an attack of opportunity. But that puts me in the darkness. I'll be away from Shadowheart. I could jump down here to be closer to Bardy Horn. Mm. See, he's got the torch out. <clears throat> but again, that but that won't last for long. The shot finished them off! Okay, she's the one that's got all the light stuff. Beacon of Hope. Sacred Flame. Glyph of Warding. Guardian of Faith. Call for the Divine Guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the Guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. Guiding Bolt. It just increases advantage. Eighty percent. So I've got two guys here. If I use this, that'll get him gold. What's that? Death War. Protect a creature from death. The next time damage would reduce it to zero hit points. It remains conscious with one hit point left. All right, well, now's not the time for that. What do you mean, not enough space? What do you mean, not enough space? I can't cast this because I don't have enough space? What? Acid, cold, detonation, Fire, lightning, sleep, thunder. I don't have a light spell. Okay. Blinded. Huh. Blinded by the light. Uh, the Guardian one. What? Cat5 says the Guardian one? Cast the Guardian and pain train into them? I mean pain train into them.
so many spells, dear God. Well, this would be perfect for now, but I need a long rest. right there. I love it. Okay, um... Don't know what that did. I was thinking the light would help somehow. I mean, at least this way I can put my torch away. But I'll have to do that next turn. by the light. Nice. Okay, Karlak, now's your time to shine. You do a branding smite. Uh, let's see. Turn your rage into a frenzy. You gain frenzied strike and enrage throw. You can also make an improvised weapon attack as a bonus. Sure. Yeah, let's try that. I couldn't cast spells while in frenzied mode. All right, uh, let's see. Let's move. Let's move her down to help out here. Nice. 
That Guardian of the Light is great. Really liking the Guardian of the Light. Okay. Is there a way to save Harper Jonas? I mean, he's undead right now, so can I turn undead? Remove curse. Pavel says no, it's irreversible. Oh. Cat5 says, no, there isn't. He can only be dead dead. All right. Well, I was kind of hoping I could, I could save him. Okay, that's a huge area of effect. I could get him. I could get him. I've got a 99% and advantage on him. He's only got 15 health left. That does between 6 and 36. I mean, yeah, that's really going to help. It'll knock him out. And then I can focus on this guy with my cleric. I think it'll only take two, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, we maximized uh, all three hits there. Cool. QR82 says the Guardian will kill that one next turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. Still, I think the Guardian will have enough movement to get over here and kill one of these next turn, right? So let's take out that guy. Twenty-four damage. We are wielding the blood of Lathander. It only does 6 to 11 damage, though. Gives me the sunbeam effect, which I've already used. Sacred Flame, 2 to 16. I've got a 96. That goes down to 80%. Cat5 says use this spirit guardian for Shadowheart. You mean the spiritual weapon? I believe I can only have one construct uh, up at a time. And I can't control the Guardian of Faith. Pavel says, uh, no, not the Spirit Guardian, the spell third from the left in the bottom row. Third from the left in the bottom row? Disengage? Cure wounds? Sorry, right. Oh, Spirit Guardians. Okay, yeah, I've already got a Spirit Guardian up, and I can't control him. He's AI controlled.
crap. Alright, I'm gonna move down here. Bring my light closer to uh, my friends. Got to move. Saved the Thander's light. Why didn't he do anything? Why didn't he? Do oh, because there wasn't any anything nearby. But then I couldn't control him. Oh, that's lame. Myself with light in the last turn. So why do I get the shadow curse when I put my torch away? I thought that was the that was the point of me imbuing myself with light. That's frustrating. Cat5 says, because you cast it on the torch, not on you. Did I? I thought I cast it on my body. I cast it on my torch? What was that? <laughs> what? How did I do that? Ah, oh, really? Well, when I hit with my bow, it does a lot of damage on this guy. Ooh, shovel is revealed. Getting too close to me? Pavel says Guardian of Fate in unmovable and attack enemies who come in range. Uh, X Spirit Guardian is a shield type spell which comes with caster and damage on touch. Okay, thank you, Pavel. Right. She's 
got a torch out. Have anything I want to throw. I could throw the shovel. Hey, Gail, do some damage, buddy. Eighty percent. That's interrupted. There we go. Didn't do quite as much as I was hoping. Oh, I could have killed one had I just focus fired. Okay, who's left? We got we got one left, right? Where is it? Am I blind? Can I not see this last shadow?
is it? There's only one left, invalid target, and I can't target it. Shadow Blend. Affected entity is invisible. It has advantage on attack rolls and imposes disadvantage on enemy attack rolls. Invisibility ends early if the invisible entity moves, attacks, casts another spell, takes an action, or takes damage. It was right around here somewhere, wasn't it? But there's no way of knowing. And I don't want to waste a spell. Get close to the fire. One day I'll catch a break. Hey! Well done. Now we've got to move. I know a safe place. Give me your map. The Guardian found him. Keep your torch high. If you step into the shadows, you'll be felled in a heartbeat. Safe place? You mean somewhere the shadows can't penetrate? That's right. Protected by magic. Only spot in the region that's not been swallowed up by this damn curse. Light will save you here on the outskirts, but a few paces deeper you're screwed. If you want to catch your breath, the inn's the only place to do it. Hope to see you there. Harpers, move out! Okay, well, it's that way. Well, well, well. Goodness. Okay. Switching to my... Yeah, you're right. I cast light on my torch. <laughs> wow, that was... It's actually a really useful cantrip. Uh, because it's a huge radius. Let's loot these bodies. Shadow Vestige. The image of an orange-haired cat asleep before a fireplace comes to you. What came of it? What? He had dreams of boarding a ship in Baldur's Gate and seeing the world. But then the darkness came. Oh no, we can't loot the bodies, but we can, we can see their dreams. He sense a young woman gazing at Moonrise Towers in awe. Perhaps one day she will get to gaze out from atop it, she hopes. In her former life, this girl played in the nearby woods. She was always the best at climbing trees. Oh, so sad. Harper Jonas has a Harper Blade, a heavy crossbow, and leather armor. You see an older woman on her knees scrubbing the floor of an inn. The patrons made a mess of things again the night before. You see a man stalking slowly through the woods, bow half drawn. If he bags a deer, the whole family will be kept fed all winter. Well, it's tragic. Okay, uh, I guess we're supposed to follow them. They ran off... Shoot, which way did they go? Well, there was a treasure over here that I wanted to get. Let's do a quick save. Hey, Carlac and Bardyhorn have a level up. Health increased class features, Feral Instinct. You've honed your instincts to the utmost degree. You gain a plus three bonus to initiative and can't be surprised. Oh, 
Okay, health increased. I uh, got another fourth spell slot, and I gained a spell. Choices pending. Well, let's see. Fairy fire. All targets within the light turn visible. Frighten a creature. Cure wounds, bane. Silence. Uh, heroism. Sorry, I'm hearing something. If you can hear that, there's a siren going on outside, and it's not like a, a police car or an ambulance. It sounds like a, a flooding siren or a weather siren. That's weird. Well, I mean, I'm on a hillside, so uh, I don't need to worry about flooding. Uh, Cat5 says, a lot of the big fights here have uh, a way for you to talk them literally to death. Also, you need to go to the end to get shadow protection. Okay, so we'll go straight to the end. Uh, let me level up first, and then I want to get that chest, and then let's go to the end. Okay, what was I doing? Trying to pick a spell here. Movement speed uh, by three meters, sleep. Knock, Lesser Restoration, Phantasmal Force. That's kind of cool. It's the invisibility. Heat Metal. Uh, enthrall. Make it look at me. It's like Taunt. Enhance Ability. Calm Emotions. Crown of Madness. Detect Thoughts. Humanoids can't be charmed or frightened. Plant Growth. Make weeds burst from the ground. Oh, okay, reduces movement speed. Hypnotic pattern. Hypnotize a creature. Glyph of Warding, I could get Glyph of Warding for him. Thane Death, Fear, Polymorph, Greater Invisibility, Freedom of Movement, Dimension Door, and Confusion. Ooh, Polymorph. Transform a creature into a harmless sheep. Lasts five turns. That's fun. Maybe I'll try that. Yeah, let's do polymorph. Do not explore, says Cat5. In all caps. Okay, I just want to get this chest. Can I get this chest, Cat5? 
I'm standing right next to it. Can I, can I just get this chest? Cat5 says, Zoxhorn, you need a long rest before you get to the end or just before you talk to people. Some of the companions have a cutscene. Okay. No! Go to the end, says... I'm standing right next to the chest! No! You want me to stop looting this chest? Fine, I'll go to the inn. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, you, I know you guys know more than me. Wait, fine, she says. Fine. Oh, now it's fine. Get the chest. Okay, fine. Standing right next to the chest. <laughs> There's a campfire over there. That looks fun. Can we go over there? No, we gotta go to the chest. I'm gonna add a bonus. Yay! All right. And she says I can't go to the fire. We're gonna look and listen to the chat here. Go to the end. That's gonna be our priority, huh? Well, listen, you guys have been here before and I haven't. I shall do as you bid. Let's see, the inn is there. Seek protection from the Shadow Curse. Camp in the Shadow Cursed lands. Oh, I, this is a closer quest objective. You want me to go there first? This is camp in the Shadow Cursed lands. Moonrise Towers are all the way over there. Yikes. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll go to the end. I will go to the end. Let's see, what's the fastest way there? I guess up here. All right, and chat is telling me I need to long rest before I get to the end, before I get to the inn. Uh, because uh, there might be a cutscene, and I don't want to miss the cutscene. Can I loot along the way, or is that forbidden? Verboten. I mean, there's on only rotten food here, so it's probably not worth my time. Ooh, a traveler's chest. And a charming little egg. Ah. Yeah, I'm gonna F5 here. I think I want that charming little egg. Too high. Here we go. Ooh, a charming little egg. Another one. Cool. And a traveler's chest. We looted a charming little egg on a rooftop, and that leads to here. Oh, but there's the inn. We need to go there. Ooh, look at that big bubble protecting the town. Okay. by the shadows. Would be wise to leave it alone. Ooh. Do I loot the dead bird? I got it. I got its eggs. So I saved the babies, but 
I'm curious about the dead bird now. I kind of want to see what's there. Don't touch it, says Cat5. No, don't touch the crow. Oh, okay. All right, don't touch it. But I kind of want to... I mean, it's right. Look at the, it's loot. I'm missing loot. I want to loot it. Don't touch it, says Judd Knight. Oh, man. Loot that I can't loot? This game knows how to really just tug on your heartstrings here. Ooh, I've got breezy sandals. Strapped and lined in an either uh, piscine or arboreal motif, these sandals are perfect for a warm morning stroll. <laughs> I just like the description. I've currently got tasteful boots on, but maybe I want some breezy sandals. I'll wear some breezy sandals from the Shadowlands. Oh, I'm currently wearing disintegrated night walkers. Okay, those are better. Oh, they go there. Tasteful boots. Breezy sandals. Charming little egg. Round and speckled, there's something appreciably cheerful about an egg. Even the word itself. Egg. How frolicsome. <laughs> the item description in this game are fun sometimes. All right. Elliot says, don't worry, Ox, you've already missed way better loot than that crow. Are you kidding me? I went to the Grim Forge. I found all of the mithril metals. I've, I've, how do you, what do you mean I've missed loot? I haven't missed loot. I've gotten all the loot, right? I've got the light of Lathander. What do you mean I've missed the good loot? This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Frank on uh, Twitch says, Hey, Oxhorn, I'm playing Dark Alliance 2 right now, which is the original Baldur Gate game. Hey, that's great. I didn't know that. Well, I hope you're having a good time. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. Oh, right. Hey, there's our friends that we saved. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira! Crap, Chad is saying that I forgot to rest. Okay. Chad is saying that I need to take a long rest before I do anything else. All right. Looks like my last quick save was right before I looted the eggs. Okay. Let's load the game, and then I'll... All right. Sorry, everybody. I remember. Yeah, you guys warned me. And I just, I got so caught up about the crow, I forgot what I was doing. I'll do a long rest. Does it have to be a long rest or can it be a sh Well, I need a cutscene, right? And some cutscenes only happen at night? All right, I'll do a long rest. Breathe deep and move.
Money. That dead bird's been corrupted by the shadows. Would be wise to leave it alone. Breezy sandals. This place is protected. Must be the refuge the Harpers spoke of. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Okay. Long rest. Again. Playtime's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting them out. Ah. Hmm. Uh, if this devil is so powerful, how did they manage to get captured? Will your playmates wasting precious time? Let's see about getting his priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Oh. Now. Be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mizora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Ooh. Okay, we'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Wills, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Hmm. We end Will's pact, uh, we, we can say, you end Will's pact and go your separate ways. Shake our head, never mind, you'll do as Mazora says. Or respond to Will in your mind, trust me. Let's say trust me. Will relaxes. And your connection fades. Mazora will rescue this asset if you release Will from his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Intimidation, history, or performance. I'm a bard, so I'm gonna do performance, but let's go through these really quick. Intimidation, we could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they'd make a loyal thrall. History, we can remember all we can about devils and their contracts, or we can pass a performance check to say, say, say you know a pact breaking charm and chant a series of pseudo infernal phrases. Oh, really? That's it? Oh, come on, really? <laughs> all right. We've got three from charisma, three from performance proficiency, and three from performance expertise. Let's do it. Total bonus is nine. If I fail this, I'd be so pissed off. A bard shouldn't fail this. Yay! I've 
never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! <laughs> she liked it. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Okay. Now, Chad is saying that that wasn't the cutscene they wanted me to see. Well, is there a way? Cat5 says, talk to your little vampire. Oh. already had this conversation. Why are we having this conversation with Shovel again? Well, what chewed up and spat you out? Your daddy! Uh... Last nipple meat slab called me Shovel. Don't like it? Change it. <laughs> Does basket sound good to you? How about another utensil? Fork or shovel is fine. What would you like to be called? Don't care. I think you had that conversation with Gale, says Cat5. Oh, okay. Okay, how about, um, I like basket. Basket, I like. Baskets hold babies, my favorite. Oh, God. So you're Basket's master now. Fine. I like gutting, killing, tearing, smearing, and dancing on dead kiddies! Master wants me to cut up piggies! Only a magical shite can call me. Grab one and I'll teach him the spell. It's nasty, like me. Okay, Basket. Basket is bored! Basket wants to murderize! There will be plenty of killing soon, we can say. Lord! Poor Basket. All right. Elliot says, Ox, did you know Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 was developed by BioWare and Interplay the same uh, time Black Isle made Fallout 1 and 2 and saw all the financing Fallout did not? Yeah, I do remember <clears throat> reading up on that history of the development of those games. I did. Okay, uh, can we break camp so that we can get the next cutscene without wasting resources? No, we can't leave camp. We can only short rest or long rest. Jay Powell says you just have to rest again. There's a mod that tells you when you have a rest cutscene help if you're okay with mods, because this is definitely one of the worst mechanics of the game. Oh, man. I hate missing out on story just because I'm not injured enough to require wasting resources on, on a long rest. Chat says, uh, talk to Asterion first. Okay. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. Um... We could say, he's a lot of fun and could be useful if we tread carefully. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of the devil, so no. Why do you want to see him, we can say? Help me find him and you'll find out. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, 
Now I know what to ask for. Uh, we could say full of bad ideas. Though you are, this is definitely one of the worst. Um, not unless you tell me what you're planning. Hmm. I don't like secrets. He wants me to trust him without really giving me a reason to. Ah, let's just say, sure, I want to see how this plays out. Perfect! I knew you would understand. Okay, well, looks like I have to waste all my resources. Oh, there's more dialogue over here. Garlic! God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Uh, we could say after what will sacrifice to save you, it's time to repay the favor. Or if we don't help, Mizora will turn Will into a Lemur. Can you live with that? Or we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Well, two options to guilt her into it. Let's try three. If we don't help, he'll get turned into a Lemur. Could you live with that? Look, Will's happiness is my happiness. I'd sooner see myself a Lemia than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. I mean, that's probably wisdom right there. All right, Will. The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Hmm. She'll be gone soon enough. Do this mission, and Mazora will free you from the pact. It's not like you have a choice. Do the mission or rot in the hells. I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? Any idea who this devil is that needs freeing? Let's try that. Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. <clears throat> it's not gonna happen. You mean too much to the Sword Coast. Or that's horrifying, I'm so sorry. So you're bound to be a Lemur no matter what? Or you're everything you accused Karlak of being. I'm not sorry for you? Yikes! That's kind of harsh. Um, so you're bound to be a Lemur no matter what? Yes. Unless Mazora actually fulfills her promise and sets me free. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Right. Anyone else we can talk to? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's rest, and then I guess we rest again. Auto select. 104? Two. 35 of 40. 39 of 40. 45 of 40, 42. Well, I wish they would show me what, how much each one. Okay, that's three, four, five. Forty of forty. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Uh oh. What's this? Ah! Hi, hey, dude. What's up? Supreme Kithrak. Has Vlakid sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Go on then, speak. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazar. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. What are you asking of us, boss? I'm asking for your help and your trust. I've heard word from Kresh Yulik. You are infected, yet the one in the prism has chosen you, protects you with their power. The prism's tenant alone has the power to end Vlakith's tyranny. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness! You flood me with this... this heresy! I... I will hear no more of it. Interesting. I, I mean, uh, the... Our friend in the in the artifact wants us to not trust him, and yet he's spitting truth here. We could say he speaks true of the Zeitis. You need to trust him, but we were told not to trust him, and that's probably not going to garner us points with Lysel. Uh. Who is the person inside the prism, we can ask? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. What do you want to do, Lizelle? I have your back. She wants to murder these guys. I don't want to do that. So kill him, kill him. Wait, okay, so my numbers have changed since I chose that first one. One, yeah. I got a lot of approval there. I served Vlakith the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sherlock. Hey, there we go. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. She's starting to see reason. 
Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle. Oh, great. Or slip away. Oh, great. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Guy seems reasonable. Why did uh, my friend in the prism not want me to trust him? So now I'm being hunted? Man, item received, a Quinnith psionic detector. Barely perceptible magic flows from this unusual device. It is searching, seeking, listening. Okay, well, we've got more dialogue. <laughs> it's like we go through all of act one and barely anything happens whenever we rest. And as soon as we enter act two, it's just dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. Cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. Vlakith cost seven crush crashed. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law, they are creed, the root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol, and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith, and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Vos speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. <laughs> we could say, obviously, it's about time you figured it out. That's a bit cruel. Don't think we'll get any points from her there. Judd Knight says, do you need to equip it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to check my inventory. Oh, Cat5 says, no. No, you just have to have it with you. Okay, that's great. Um, what does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended, or so I believed. Pavel says this was milestone situation for Lizel. If you did tell her to kill Voss, her story would go quite in, in quite a different way. Yeah, I believe that, since at that moment she's deciding to either continue to believe in her god, or see her for what she is, a charlatan. I'm I'm hoping this leads to some sort of redemption arc for her. Because she seems... I mean, there are very few positive character traits about Liza. But if I, if I were to name one, it would be that she's, she does seem honest. And loyal. And those are both positive character attributes. And she acts the way she does because she thinks she's being honest with herself and with her people, and she's being loyal to her god. But it seems like those positive character attributes are are misguided. They're being directed towards the wrong thing. If we can direct them towards the right things, then she might be a redeemable character. Voss called Vlaketh a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? I never thought Vlaketh a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, 
a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Gith Yankee is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. And if Voss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Vlakiths are real? Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Who is the one in the prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Okay. Making some progress, all right. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Oh man, I hate it. If I'm being hunted, it means I'm, I'm constantly got this anxiety. I'm never truly at rest. Okay, any more people to talk with? I tried to sleep, <laughs> but dude interrupted my nap. Sarvis the Drow says, Lyzel isn't a bad person. Get the Yankee Protocol <clears throat> would have been to abandon or kill you after escaping the Nautiloid, but she chose to share what she thought would be a cure with you, an outsider. And that's a good point. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. She could have killed us. Well, she could have tried to kill us at any point, but she chose to see us as the same. We're both suffering from the same problem and perhaps we can find the cure together. I don't necessarily think she did it out of the goodness of her heart, but perhaps she thought that it was a tactical good move. That the more minds working on finding, the, at, at solving this problem, the better. The more likely it would be for her to get cured as well. Okay, well, let's try and sleep again. Talk to the dog, says Judd Knight, using animal speak. I have done that already a number of times, and he doesn't really say much. I'll try it again. All right, where's the dog? Does he have anything new to say? Where's the dog? He's usually wandering around camp. Okay, well, I can't, uh, I can't find the dog. I don't know where the dog is. Okay, well, let's sleep. Another cutscene? Or do we actually get a good night's sleep? Oh, there's the dog. Do I still have animal what's it? I don't. Gotta do it again. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah, no no dialogue. We can pet him. That's it. Good puppy. All right, so was that it? Was that the cutscene that you wanted me to get? Or was there another that I now need to long rest again for in order to get? I don't see any more exclamation marks. 
So. Uh, no, says Can5. You need one with a Sterian. Okay, well, let's quick save. And I guess let's long rest again. Oh, I guess I broke camp accidentally. There we go. Asterion. You know, I feel a connection between us. Like we're two souls walking the same path. Eh. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Uh, don't know how far I want to go with this guy. Bulletproof Gaming became a silver ox. Thank you so much, Bulletproof Gaming. What do you mean I'm naive? Uh, just that you have a big heart. You like doing what's right. That's true, huh? So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? Ah, uh, to destroy the cult and end its evil forever. I'm going to get rid of this worm and then get back to my life. Or seize control of the cult ourselves? That's probably what he wants to do. Well, I don't know if I can get rid of the worm at this point. I'm not sure if that's my goal. But we can try to destroy the cult and end its evil forever. See what he says. He's going to be like, ah, yeah, see, that's what I meant by naive. God, <laughs> try to think outside the box just a little. Yeah. <laughs> Consider the parasites in our skulls and think how many others have the mind flayers infected. Hundreds, thousands, and they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Yeah, power to do what, Asterion? What would you do with that kind of power? To control all of those people. That's what you really want? We could say evil power. I won't do it. Or, and how would we do that exactly? Or until we transform into mind flayers, you mean? Mm hmm. That's a tempting idea. Let's try three. Until we transform into mind flayers, you mean? That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power with none of the tentacles. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. Uh, we could say no, absolutely not. Or I'll consider it. Or, or we could just enjoy having all that power. I do like the idea of liberating the world of all of this evil, but I think he just threw that in for my benefit because he knew that's what I'd like to hear. This is a, this is a tool. This is an opportunity for you to rid the world of evil, Barty Horn, because you're a good, naive person. So I don't trust him. I think if he had that kind of power, he would use it to his own benefit. But for the moment, perhaps we can play along with him and say, I'll consider it. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. Okay. Cat5 says this isn't it. What? That's not it? Was or was that not the cutscene you wanted me to see? How many cutscenes do I need to go through before we go into the inn? <laughs> I feel like we exhausted all cutscenes possible before we came into Act 2, 
And then as soon as we get into Act 2, it's just back-to-back -back cutscenes. Rest, and then we'll see this Cat 5. All right. All right. Well, I don't see any more exclamation marks on the map. Let's rest. Ah, crap. 70 of 40. Uh, okay, let's try... 34, give me a 6. This is exactly 40. I'll save that for... Fuck, what the... Well, I'll just use one supply pack. That's exactly 40. The voice of the Absolute is strong here. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. <clears throat> it wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Or I did what I could, but I'm not sure they'll survive out there on their own. It was a waste of time. I regret it now. I didn't do it for them. The goblins were in my way, so I killed them. We'll try number one. They needed my help. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Save wave build. after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. My transformation? Yes, but the orders are oddly erratic. As if the Absolute cannot make up its mind. I don't fully understand. In any case... The Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Why does the Absolute want you? I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Right, yeah, okay, I'm on now board with that. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. I'll try not to. <sighs> okay, was that the cutscene? Because somebody said something about Hysterion earlier. I'm hoping that was... Oh, the dog! Oh, the dog has something to say now. I see. The dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. Oh. What do you got there, Scratch? I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Thank you, puppy. You're a good puppy. Who's a good boy? 
You're a good boy. You're such a good boy. I got it. Get it? Do I have to pick it up? I guess I have it. A bone! This bone, part of a leg or perhaps an arm, is clean of blood and sinew. What do I... What do I want with a bone? Well, thanks! I mean, what should... What do I expect? What, what did I expect from a dog? That's very kind. Kind of you, Scratch, for the bone. Okay, well, uh, okay, I, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that was the cutscene we needed, everybody, so we can break camp and continue with the plot. Tell you what, let me use this brief moment of respite to get a cola. Throw it, says chat. Throw it? Can I? All right. It wasn't the scene, says Cat5. What? That wasn't the scene? Okay, where's the bone? There's the bone. Oh, that's a good puppy. And I get it again. <laughs> All right, there. I got the bone back. Chat is, Cat5 says, just get Asterion in your party. It's funny, lol. Okay, do I need to rest again? What, wait, wait, why would I need Asterion in my party? Does the cutscene only happen if I have Asterion in my party? If that's the case, then why do I have to sleep for it? Ouroboros says the cutscenes will come in their time. Don't worry, Ox. All right, well, let me go get a Coke. I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank you for your patience, everybody. It's snowing. <laughs> Can you see that out my window? I saw that when I went to go get my Coke, and uh, yeah, it's snowing. Am I still live? I'm still live. Looks like I still have a strong signal, but in this area, I mean, I live out in the middle of the woods with all of these trees and their limbs. The snow is going to cause a bunch of branches to fall. And I, I predict we're going to lose power. <laughs> Every year I lose power multiple times because I live out in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> so, uh, well, let's just keep playing while we can until the snow cuts us off, all right? Uh, let's see, where were we? <clears throat> Cat5 says, have Asterion in the party and talk to the demon in the inn. It, it'll, buy parks, it'll buy parks the scene or could just rest again. Act 2 has a lot of rest scenes. Did you mean bypass the scene? Bypass the scene? Or by parks? By parks the scene? I don't understand. Do I want to bypass the scene or do I want to watch the scene? Von Reck gifted 10 Oxhorn memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Von Reck, and congratulations to Laura, Tony, John Washburn, Ouroboro, Knight, Knightly Phoenix, Mr. Bear, Ludy Coden, Sean. Swang, Duet Maxwell, and Shady Karma. Thank you very much, Von Reck. Grant Haber says, Ox, if you love history as much as I do, you, uh, uh, you will enjoy playing Empire of Sin and its DLC. I like the game, plus, and it's set in uh, Prohibition-era Chicago. Ooh. Now that does sound intriguing. Empire of Sin and its DLC. Fascinating. Otakon the Phantom Companion says, Caution, a mind-numbing question for the ages depending on your perspective, but would you rather have unlimited bacon and no games or games, unlimited games, but no bacon? That is the question of the ages. I mean, bacon, it's a staple. So many people in the world depend upon bacon. Mm -hmm. Could I really rob the universe of bacon? Bacon for breakfast, bacon for lunch, bacon bits on salads to make them palatable? Just so that I can play games? And yet, it would make it easier to hit my caloric goals every day if I didn't have bacon there to tempt me. Tough choice, tough choice. I guess I'd have to go with games. Go with games. All right. Uh, so basically, it's up to me now. Do I put a Asterion in my party and go to the inn to talk to somebody to, to bypass this cutscene? I really don't like Asterion. <laughs> I don't want to play with him. Or do I waste sleeping again? 40 more resources. God, I'm just... I, this one attempt to get this one cutscene. I've already spent 80 resources. How many resources do I have? I don't think I have that many. Cat5 says you can just change him out after. Yeah. Oh. Accidentally switched tabs there. Oh. 
All right, all right. I'll, I'll switch him out after. Let's see. Which is my least interesting companion that I currently have? He'll grow on you, says Dylan. I don't know. I don't know if I want him to grow on me. He's kind of a vampire creature. And... All right, let's get rid of uh, Carlac for now. As much as I love Carlac, I haven't really developed her story that much. Odd X says you can sleep with no resources to get cutscenes. Really? Cat5 says, no, keep her. What? Cat5, what are you? Get Hysterian, she says. You'll get a cutscene. All right, I'll, I'll change up my party. No, keep her, says Hysterian. Says Cat5. She's got good... <laughs> you guys. All right, fine. Fine, I'll keep I'll keep Carlac. I'll get rid of Shadowheart. I can't bear to get rid of Gale. Gale's the best companion ever. So I'll get rid of uh, Shadowheart. I... Stay here, Shadowheart. I didn't expect Lazelle to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Okay, uh, stay here. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Ha ha ha. Nice. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna go get a Asterion. So, Lazel's going to war with Vlakith. Going to break her chains in Baldur's Gate. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. That's right. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Will do. And don't call me darling. Oh, he just leveled up. I gotta level him up now. Loot Goblin says, I woke up to another two feet of snow. It's really hitting the... the, the Pacific, it's hitting the Pacific Northwest right now, but it's been hitting the nation this whole week, hasn't it? And we're getting so much snow right now. That's the kind of snow that's going to stick, too. Look at that. Oh, that's not just a, a thin film. That's the kind of snow that's going to stick, and it's going to weigh up on the branches. Oh, man. I'm going to lose my power. All right, let's level up Asterion. Class features, evasion. Your agility lets you dodge out of the way of certain spells. When a spell or effect would deal half damage on a successful dexterity saving throw, it deals no damage if you succeed and only half if you fail. Nice, that's a pretty cool ability. Lucky Shot says, hello Ox, long time watcher. I hope you have a whole home generator for that snow. I came across your Fallout Shrine video, but it was old. Wondering if you could do an update video? Yeah, you know, I've been meaning to. Lucky Shot, it is an old video. It's several years old by now. And I, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in the quality of that video because I felt rushed to get a video out that week. And so I didn't take my time with it. Uh, I, ha I would love to give each and every one of my props its individual time in the glory, and I'm thinking maybe YouTube Shorts is the medium uh, that would be better for me to do that. So, yeah, I need to spend some time working on that. It'll come in time. All right, accept. And I do have a home generator, so I am good to go there. All right, let's move on with it. <sighs> All right, I don't Come like. On, let's go. I, I I did like Carlac's helmet at first, but now it's starting to bother me. So I'm gonna turn her helmet off so we can see her pretty face. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. During cutscenes. Don't waste a step. No shadows here. Something must be keeping it at bay. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy! He's with me. Come. Jahira!
interesting interaction right there. Okay, uh, <laughs> we could say just this once. I wish people would simply say hello. Or we could try to pass a bar check to say, how uncouth. Legends led me to expect better of the noble Shahira. It seems tales of my clemency have been greatly exaggerated. If you let me go, I'll happily amend the tales. Ada hates strangers, but no. You have not experienced my hatred, stranger. Not yet, at least. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. Uh-oh. You should never have come here, true soul. Uh, we could pass a strength check to rage against the vines, but I've got a negative one from strength. We could accept our fate. We could say, I am not a true soul, or we could look to the harpers that we saved. Let's look to the harpers. Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Hey. Saved one of my friends from a druid with a snake. Knows when to be discreet, too. Hey. I pretty much trust him with my life. That's great. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? All right, our choices are coming back to help us. We didn't have to wipe this entire place. We could say, I work in mysterious ways, or you'll just have to take my word for it, or we get attack. The Cat 5 says to tell her the truth, so we could say, because of this artifact, and show it to Jahira. Is that thing? Ah, uh, <laughs> do we tell her everything we know about the artifact? We don't really know that much about it. She seems like a decent sort, at least the kind of person who's who could be trusted with this amount of information. Lucky Shot says also wanted to ask for your thoughts on the Fallout London mod. Are you going to play it? Um, but, um, my thoughts on the Fallout London mod are that uh, since it's fan-made, of course, the lore is not canonical. That said, there's still plenty of reasons to play the mod for, for somebody like me, as uh, it's interesting. It, it, might, uh, it might prove interesting. Also, it'll be great to see what fans think a post-apocalyptic London in the Fallout universe would look like, especially since established lore tells us that the Middle East and Europe descended into warring city-states long before the apocalypse of 2077. So for those many of those reasons, I, I think it would be fun to explore. However, I'm focused on canonical lore now, so if I do tackle the Fallout London mod, it's not going to be for quite some time. Pavel says, Jahira is a companion from Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Actually, one of the first companions you can get in Baldur's Gate 1. She was young there. Now she's over a hundred years old. Hey, that's cool. All right, so we'll tell her everything we know about the artifact. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. 
I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? We could say to destroy the Absolute in its lair, Moonrise Towers. I just want a cure for the parasite in my head. I'm here on holiday, where my intentions are my own. Let's say to destroy the Absolute. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. Great. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. <laughs> Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. All right, we made oh, some friends. Nothing around here, right? Oh, Karlak has something it's to say. For a good cause. Oh, is this where we find Damon? Aye. Our asses. Oh my God, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. We can pass a Baldurian check to say she lives in the city, right? Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a Baal sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! <laughs> She's fangirling over her. That's great. Yeah. There's more where that came from. That all seems powerful. Powerful stone. What could it do once it's extracted? Orb? <laughs> Nothing I good can really come of it unless it is contained. Why? What is everyone talking about? It might about? be useful. Who knows? Good to see a friendly face. Jahira seems sure of you. I hope she's right. This barricade might keep the shadows out, but it won't help against what's already inside. So he's not so sure. Never thought I'd see the day Jahira shows mercy to a true soul. Or whatever it is you are. <coughs> Cat5 says they were talking about the bomb in Gale's chest. Oh, okay. If Jahira trusts you, I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. That's okay. All right, we got the ancient sigil circle here, waypoint. Cool. Okay, lots of stuff here, but I don't want to steal. Hope you know what you're doing, walking around with that thing behind your eye. <sighs> God's blood, this is heavy. Uh, chat is asking me to go back and read chat. All right, let's see if there's anything I missed when I stepped away right. for a minute. Our asses. I don't see any other super chats that I missed when I stepped away to get my Coke. So, I'm gonna press forward. Let's see. Well, we've got a path down there which leads outside of the bubble. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. Free as you are. This is no time for a natter. Head on into last light. Was she being sarcastic? Am, am I pretty? Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. We can pass a persuasion check to say, anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself? Charm person, friends. 
voice of the circle. Let's do friends. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... What I got, what I got, what I got. A supply pack, yay! Resources, hooray! 40 camp supplies. <laughs> all right, let's talk to Quartermaster. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. And see what we can buy. Cat5 says, buy all the thief tools you can when you can. You'll need them later. All right. Uh, let's go to Barter. I guess. I still don't know the difference between those two. It does... Well, I understand the difference between them. I just don't understand why. Thief tools. No, that's a trap disarm tool. Still, I should probably get those. Thief tools. Incandescent staff. Very rare. It's not better than what he's got. Uh, Gale, anyway. Got a couple of arrows. Some armor. Half plate armor. Trade is just auto-sell or auto-buy. Oh, I see. So barter is if I wanted to try and get a better deal. This has disadvantage on stealth checks. AC disadvantage. Breastplate. Bark skin armor. A rare medium armor. Medium armor. Medium armor. Cloak of protection. Armor class and saving throw. Shield of Devotion, plus two to armor class, very rare. Additional spell slot. You gain one level one spell slot. Tell you what, I don't want to do this right now. Take care now. I'll deal, I'll deal with that later. We'll deal with bartering later. Let's walk around and chat with people. Oh, now I'm encumbered. Let's send this to the camp. Send, send to camp. Okay. Huh. I wish we had a bloody army. Jahira's godsend in the flesh. Pleasure to have you. Hey! That's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. I expect a bit more decorum from a flaming fist soldier. We could glare at him, or we could say, hey, what kind of party is it that I'm crashing? Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn, but we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> We could say, I was there in the aftermath. I don't suppose Counselor Floric made it all the way here? Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a God's damned Counselor to get room and board around here. Is that where we're gonna find Damon? Let's try that. I bet they're close. Watching us. Hey, it's Helen. Let's say hi. There he is, the Hellion's heart. Looks like that odd ox made it through the shadows. The odd ox? <laughs> oh. 
Karlak? I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, there's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlik to... Touch people! Exactly! What? Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Oh dear. Um, oh dear. We should hear the bad news first. Let Damon speak. This sounds important. Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus, for good. This thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that will let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Well, geez, poor Karlak. Uh, our options are, Karlak, did you hear what Damon said? Your engine is going to explode soon. Or go on, give him the iron. Let's make this happen. Um, well, I mean, if there's nothing that, that he can do about it, then really... The best you can do is make whatever time she has left as pleasurable as possible. So we'll go ahead and give him the iron. Well, all right. This shouldn't take long. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. <laughs> Love the sound effects. <sighs> so did it... work? Only one way to find out. Lay a hand on her, pull her into a hug, Kiss her or stand stock still. Oh man, she's been waiting for this. Let's kiss her. Hey. I'd laugh if he was like, ah, ah, I'm burning, ah. <laughs> but no. You're all right. No burns. Can we go to bed now? <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Hold on, Karlak. There's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours. It's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that. But the thing is, there's a cure. Oh, why did you say that? I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics. None at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. Oh, he did say that. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. 
The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure. But... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. <clears throat> oh, man. We could say thank you, Damon. We'll have to make the inevitable evitable again. <laughs> uh, or we could say first, uh, first things first. Carlock, you have touchback. We ought to celebrate that. Uh, that's probably what she would like. Right? All this doom and gloom. I have something far more exciting on my mind than this bloody tin box. Oh, dear. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. Look after yourself, all right? Okay, complete the Hellion's heart. She wants to talk to me now. This is the best day. The best day. I'm so happy for you. For both of us, if I'm honest. I'm so happy for you, Karlak. Or we can leave. <laughs> Let's say for both of us. <laughs> Me too. Whenever you want to turn in, I'd love to take this whole touch thing for a test drive. I know we have important things to do, but we deserve a little sweetness too. I mean, yeah, we can have dessert later. <clears throat> Uh, ho hold on, we've got Karlak. I'm worried about what Damon said about your engine. We need you to, to get you back to Avernus, or it's going to blow. I can't wait for tonight. I'm going to hold you as close as possible. This is getting really romantic. Um... I am concerned about her, though. I worry about, I mean, I, d does it work like heart rate? <laughs> Some people with weak hearts, if you get their blood pressure pumping, it can lead to, well, a bit of an explosion. So I'm kind of worried about what happens in the night, you know? Everybody says two. All right, so I can't wait for tonight. I'm going to hold you as close as possible. Oh, man. I can't wait. <laughs> All right, well, you can wait, because we've got some oxen to talk to here. Strange ox. No, still incapable. I'll show you incapable. Or, you've said that twice now. I demand an explanation. Let's try that. Not for you to know. Now, we could pass a nature check. You're a rare breed, an authentic red-backed river ox. I thought you'd be more discerning. Uh, that gives us a plus two. Or we could pass a perception check to say, you're the ox I met back in the grove. You were very hungry then. I saved you all, and now you have food. Or this perception check gets us plus nine. We could say, oh, come on. Now you've piqued my curiosity. Don't press him, says Pavel. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Isn't it good to pass this persuasion check? Pavel says, don't press him. What do you mean, don't press him? What is the downside to passing this persuasion check? Do it, says Ryan. Okay. All right, let's do that. Let's go ahead. Save the game first, says chat. All right.
Okay, we passed it. Darth Luke says, did you ever play God of War Ragnarok? I'm just starting uh, watching God of War from your gameplay. No, I haven't played Ragnarok yet because as far as I know, it's not available on the PC and I only play PC games. Once it gets ported, I'll play it. Well, come close. Your mind to mine. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Satisfied. <clears throat> um. Yes, thank you. What the hells was that? How does an ox like yourself have such horrifying thoughts? Well, we could say those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Is that a threat, we could say? Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now, we could say. I mean, he seems really intent on staying in hiding, and it seems like he's seen a lot of horror. Is he a threat to these people? I'm not sure. Chad is saying that I need to say your secret, whatever it is, is safe with me. Good little hero. Oh, I didn't like that response. I didn't like that response. He mocked me while I was trying to be nice to him. Let's talk to these other cows. Do you like our new friend? He's new. Okay. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. How'd you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. I'm glad to see you made it too. I remember you from the grove with the druids. I hoped to see you again. And now I have. Okay, we can leave. Well, that is interesting. Who is this injured, strange ox? I'm a little bit unsettled. Now, where to go? Where to go? We could go down here. I go. I go. Yep, that's where we're gonna go. You look well equipped. Good. You wouldn't believe the state of some of these lads. Hey, lady, are you okay? Jahira's waiting for you, is she not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've got a poor lady over here. I gotta help her. Dennis. Please, I just want to be alone. Um. Snap sniveling. Or stop sniveling and tell me what's wrong then. Or I remember you. Bex, right? Where's your man? Gone. Cultists. It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Dennis. Oh no. Martin Dahl, Roshan. So what you're saying is you saved yourself and let your soulmate to die? <laughs> One of these days I'd love to do just a playthrough where I'm just saying the most callous, crass things just to see what happens. I'm not going to be that cruel. Um, how did you manage to get away, we can say? I've always been good at running. Unlike Tannis, I didn't realize one day our lives would depend on it. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I should have taught him how to run. I knew how to run this whole time, and I could have shown him, but no. All he could do was skip. He just skipped himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh. Poor guy. Sounds like your boys, your boy toys, goblin chow now. <laughs> Sounds like your boy toy is goblin chow. Yikes. Um, Dennis could still be alive. Don't give up on him yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. From what I've heard, they've probably killed and eaten him. In that order, if he's lucky. Or I'll find Dennis and bring him back to you. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Pavel says, as you did not press on matter of his secret, you'll meet that ox later in an even more interesting scene. That's what. Huh. Oh. 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 What the? What? There's a blast mine above me. Oh. Oh well, I'm glad we passed the persuasion check. Okay, so there's a staircase leading down to this area. We probably shouldn't be doing any of that just yet. Let's let's go to the inn. We gotta talk to what's her name. How's the barricade coming along? I am enjoying Aren't you? Okay. Sure. In silence. Let's head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. Well, Roboro says, uh, <clears throat> Ox, be sure to make a quick save before talking to Jahira. All right. Cat5 says, talk to the demon first. Uh, the demon. Premium trinkets and doodles. Oh, yeah. The demon kit. Ooh. Uh, Dark Maw the Wicked. What is that? Is that Dark Maw the Wicked? <laughs> I don't believe it. Is that a reference to the previous His territory game? ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloakwood. Took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? Last Light's best bargains right here. He's in the room on the left, not the kids, says Cat5. Oh, all right. Stuffed boar head. Stuffed wolf head. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Whoops. Well, I'll risk it. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Well, kid, what are you peddling these days? Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa. <laughs> How'd you learn to fight like that? Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case... Want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha 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 ha! Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Control Station Enclave says, are you okay because of the siren earlier? Yeah, I'm okay. The siren was far off, so it was probably coming from a nearby town. Probably just warning about flooding, I guess. I don't know. But I seem to be fine. I still have power. I'm still online. Scamming with the grades? What kind of advice is that, we could say? Or the kid really looks up to you. That's nice to see. 
or you were too nice to that little runt. <laughs> that was nice to see. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium ch Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Ah, uh, you got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? Uh... What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. <laughs> He's gonna Mole get gave me it again. to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day He's gonna get me again. Uh, we could pass a deception check to say Mole said I could have it. Or we could pass a persuasion check and we've got 12, plus 12 here, to say if it was worth any coin, do you think Mole would have given it to you? We've got plus three from Charisma, from Favorable Beginnings, from Persuasion Proficiency, and Persuasion Expertise. Oh, this poor kid. But he already conned me once with the magic ring, so I don't feel too bad. Oh, there we go. I mean, maybe. Poor kid. <laughs> I feel so bad. We could pass an intimidation check to say hand it over now. A persuasion check to say Mole knows it'll be safer with me. And so do you. Or an insight check to say with all the other fabulous things you've found in this inn, why hold on to a dusty old key? Let's try the persuasion check. We could add Voice of the Circle to it. Uh, yeah, might as well. But she put me in charge of the shop. I, I thought... <sighs> Never mind. Here. You can have it then. Poor kid. Looks <laughs> like best bargains right bad. here. A tower-shaped key. An elaborate key plated with silver. Nice. Right to the left. Don't Talk wander far. Demon. We need to talk. Okay. Well, this is the room to the left. Did you mean the room to the right? Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Ah, you found your way. Good. I told you I'd help rescue Wolbrin and the others. This is my first stop. I haven't forgotten. And... As it happens, I was making something to help you on your way. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Oh, of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. Hey. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it. If you're going to save Wilbrin. <clears throat> Wilbrin who? <laughs> How uh, did Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them, well, with you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents, and you, I hope, will do yours. He sounds the a little bit like Gale. will aid you. Thus, 
I will make it. I like the name. What's it do? Let's not ruin the surprise. Hmm? You... You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. All right, will do. Hiss! I say hiss! <laughs> His Majesty. We could uh, say easy, kitty. I mean you no harm. Or we could pass an intimidation check to say hiss. Or we could say, what's got your whiskers in a twist? This is my territory, and you're in it. Um, we could say, oh, my intentions are pure. I only wanted to admire you up close. Mmm, I'll allow it. <laughs> we could quietly admire the cat. Uh, we could say, quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? Or you seem like someone who knows what he is about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part... I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Oh. Do you see any milk, do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. <laughs> Quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. We can quietly admire the cat. You've had enough. Now go. Quickly. Yes. <laughs> That's great. This is a great interaction. Good job. Okay, so he's working on some special blasting powder. Uh, ah. Oh! Oh, oh, really? Okay. You didn't mean a typhling. You meant an actual demon. Raphael. Here we go. I love how his hit points are 666. You see that at the top? His hit points are 666. It's good to see you again. I'd ask if you've made any progress with your little problem. But the telltale twitching of your eye is answer enough. Are you following me? You flatter yourself. <laughs> You're not the only soul of interest in this ruin. This is Last Light. Where hope hangs on by a single withered thread. I can mend it or cut it, depending on what they ask for. They're not the only ones ripe for temptation, you know. My last contract here fed me for decades. You were here before? Why? Family troubles. Not my family, of course. I never surrender knowledge for free, but one good turn deserves another, does it not? To repay you for the soul sent my way, I offer a taste of the truth. Catherick Thorn, proud father, man of faith, utter fool. On the night the Harpers sealed him away, someone murdered his entire army in cold blood. Now who would possibly benefit from such a massacre? If you want to know more, I could work the exchange of such precious knowledge into the terms of your future deal. But the time for quibbling over clauses and contracts hasn't quite arrived. You'll be limping back to me soon enough. Oh, will I? Not with you, at least. Although I sense there's something your friend wants to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. Uh-oh. A proposal? If you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. <laughs> it burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business, devil. My old, well, <laughs> a long time ago, someone carved some ruins into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Mm. Oh dear. I dislike working with devils, but it doesn't hurt to ask him to help him out for free. Cat5 says pick one. 
What are you talking about, Hysteria, and what scars? You haven't told them. And you've kept your clothes on this whole time. <laughs> How <laughs> unlike you. Why not let them see? Don't be shy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Ooh. How? <laughs> well. Now you know. <laughs> now we know, Asterion. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Gods, the carving must have been excruciating. Cazador worked on it from dusk until dawn. All with an ancient blade he called his needle. <laughs> Cutting and tearing. Starting over if I screamed or winced too much. It was a rough night. What's done is done, so how about we stop talking about it and just get on with things? Although I should probably get dressed first. <laughs> <laughs> probably, Asteria. And he disappears. Right, well, that was an interaction. There's Maul. Look, you're welcome and all, but uh, I got to chat with bigger fish. Later. Well, fine. We've got a door back here, an oaken door. We should probably talk with what's her name. Let's see what's upstairs first. Wow, people haven't been up here in an age. Mug of ale, 4 CP, chopped cheek, 3 SP, daily special, inquire. Well, this would be quite the view if there wasn't a big mist everywhere. Hmm. Hello. Isabel's room. Are we allowed to be here? Is there anyone here? Patience. He may know a way through the curse. Let's read Isabel's diary. But we do know that Save says everyone charging into those shadows is dead. Plan is to do nothing. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. It will never out, this death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never come back. Put away the torch, says Chad. All right. We can wait. Isabel, servant of saloon. Quick save. Sorry to interrupt.
Okay, chat is uh, upset that I've talked to her. I didn't realize I had an audience. I should probably the have Shadowheart for here. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. Okay, uh, Chad is saying that this is somebody I should be talking to later, so I'm gonna go ahead and load my quick save. And just go down and talk to what's her name. Uh, that way it'll give us an opportunity, since we've completed Asterion's little bit here, to get Shadowheart in our party. Need to find a way forward. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find them. What I won't do is any more about them. Interesting. All right, now I saw a way onto the roof earlier. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. And uh, I saw a hole in the roof as well. I wonder if there's a room I can jump down into if I take that. of Ravenous. Too high. There's a bird's nest. With the innkeeper's key inside. Charming little egg and the innkeeper's key. A small iron key. Huh. Is it the same as the one that I got through dialogue? Minus three HP. I could no time to rest. Misty step. Queen of Rav Ravens. Highlighted from the other chapters in this work by gorgeous little pictures and artistic renditions of the events described, you can read the following. In that time of shattered allegiances between elven gods and with the adulation of the Shadar Kai elves in her pocket, the woman bid her followers elevate her to godhood. Do it and I'll reforge our broken pantheon, she said. 
do it, and I'll make things sweet and synchronous again. And they did, all but the dissenters in her avid flock, who, during the ritual of godly ascension, tried to wrest power from the woman. At the crucial moment, she tore the dissenters apart. With the ritual irrevocably disturbed, the queen and her Shadar Kai found themselves flung across the plains into the eerie and terrible realm called the Shadowfell. The journey killed her, yet from the corrupted ashes she rose, a queen with both her eyes and her serving birds as dark as her ambition. So was born the Raven Queen, mistress of life and death. A bit of lore there. Oh, I didn't have to jump down. I could have climbed the knotted roots. Well, I'm not going to be able to get back up. <laughs> All right. Are we getting ourselves in trouble by exploring too much? She doesn't care if the ratchet lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. Her focus is on stopping the cult. I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Last light's best fu- Oh! Last light in cellar. Doesn't look very big. Appearances can be deceiving. Oh dear. What have we here? Last light detention cell key. A is for Azuth and other gods. Pavel Kolarski says there are two breakable walls in the inn's basement. Good hunting. Right. If I miss them on my way out, let me know. Saloon guides us through the night. She is the moon, the stars, her tears. Her sister tries to douse her light, but she protects us from our fears. Shar will take your sorrow from you, but beware, her night is dark. She'll hide your pain and secrets too, and all your joy and all your spark. Sylvanus, god of all that's wild, of nature's danger and its charm, his glory's not to be defiled, or you yourself will come to harm. Telnex says, Ox, cast light on yourself again. That helps. Evidence chest. Gold, hyena ear, and a ward flag. Broken chest. A sponge tray. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Burlap sack. A moldy banana. Crap. Don't need that. Everything down here is rotten. All right, I don't need to worry about that. Evidence chest. Used last light detention cell key, and I got a potion of mind reading. Hmm. That might prove useful. If we can figure out where to use it. All right, two cells here. Sweet potato. Two 
unbreakable walls. Good looking. Come on, Karlak. Show them who you are. Immune to slashing damage. Red, I need like a mall or something. Uh, Greg Williams says, I just watched a documentary on beavers. It was the best damn show I've ever seen. I'm here all night. Also, who's your favorite companion so far? Gail. Gail easily is my, my favorite companion. Is a shovel? Can I hit it with a shovel? No. Still breathing, despite everything. I need like a sledgehammer or something. Use Gale's Blast. Well, I don't want to use magic if I don't have to. Because um, then I use a slot that I might need somewhere else. Unless it's a cantrip. Do I have a cantrip that blasts? I'm not carrying anything. Direct me. Use a staff. Yeah, I could use a staff. One with the weave. All right. On the double. That didn't do much. Oh, it did. It did something. There we go. All right. We're getting through it slowly. I'm breaking down a brick wall with my wizard. <laughs> Come on, Gail. You got this. Yeah. Smoke powder barrel. If not over, <clears throat> then through. Thieves tools. Hey. Wooden chest. Scroll of Revify, gold and an arrow of ice. Nice. Oh, what's this? A skeleton. Nothing. Double metal doors. Locked. Greg Williams says, lol, now that's a new show. You've just invented Ox Wizards vs. Walls. Tonight at 7 p.m. Let's lockpick this door. Gotta pass a 14. Hmm. Ooh, would it be better for Asterion to do this? What a day. Let's crack it open. Yeah, he's got Lucky and uh, Bardic Inspiration. Let's do Lucky. Nice. Critical success. It's the first useful thing I've had him do. At least things have stayed interesting. Whoa. Can't 
slow down. A heavy chest. Who? Uh oh, it's oh! I gotta disarm it. All right, let's disarm. Total bonus plus three. Would it be better to do this with the Starian? Well, hello. Yes, it would. Ring Arcane Radiance. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radi radiating orb upon the target for two turns. Hmm. Okay. Please save. I I've been quick saving as I go. Best be on my way. Knotted roots. Hello. Is that going to put me out into the shadow? I don't want that. to do that seek protection from the shadow curse so I should go there after oh what is all this a mean lock 50 HP oh dear lord fear aura what have I discovered here oh and it keeps going Right. I think this is something we should do later. Later, after we finish everything else in the inn. We now know there's something down here. And we can come back anytime. Now, Pavel told us there was another door. Or, I'm sorry, another broke breakable wall. Let's see if we can find it. Rotten fish. All right, so the food is all going to be rotten. All right, if there was another breakable wall, it would be in this room. That's curious.
Okay, scroll of sea invisibility and gold. Guthrumen Reserve, Baldur's Grape. Getting all the booze. Spider web. Okay, so I should probably burn the spider web, right? Lost in thought. Doesn't he have a can trap? Oh no, that was um what's her name? I could do a fire arrow. Is that blood? No, never mind. Or could I hit it with a torch? Don't burn yourself. All right, what now? Hysterion does. What? Watch your back. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, he does. There we go. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hey, cracked wall. Time for basket to do some good. Where are you going, basket? Basket. Basket, where are you going? Basket. Basket, what are you doing? No! Basket! Why can't you get through the crack of the basket? Ugh. Quite ready for you. I guess I'm gonna have to break it down. Forthwith. With my mage. Oh yeah. That's a hero mage if ever I saw to one. Have to keep going. Okay. Oh, it's the other side. It's the other side! Oh dear. There's an interesting statue here. Each of these has 50 health. Good God. Pardon me, so both broken walls lead to the same chamber. I've got 30 minutes left, and there's other stuff I want to do before we end the broadcast, so we're going to have to do that later. We'll come back. In my next episode, don't let me forget. Oh man, all the good wine is on the ground.
Here we go. Right. We'll be back. We read the book, didn't we? Did we read that book? No, we didn't. The Harpers are a secretive organization whose main purpose is the preservation of all things good and right in the world. They outfox evil at every turn, with shrewd fighting or cunning political maneuver, and though they are not well organized, how could they be, with many members utterly ignorant of the identity of those they might claim as allies, they are united in purpose and goal. One Harper agent deployed correctly in a conflict often achieves the same result as a loosed army. at the finest stock. Somehow failed a survival check there. Hmm. All right. Okay, I think we're done exploring. So the plan is to do nothing. Let the people rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Well, we didn't go over here. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stuff. Oh, Any wow. From Jahira. She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. Shadows but she doesn't care if Bradley dies. I don't go that far. Her place, focus is on stopping the cult, and I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jayla's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. But Boulder's Gate can't. If you have an alternative in mind, please do close it. <sighs> Patience. Just he may know a way through the we don't even know if he'll ever recover. But we do know that anyone who goes charging into those shadows is dead. So the plan is to do nothing. Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the tower now. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. <clears throat> not yet, we can say. I trust you will do everything you can to free the Duke. But in case you don't find a way, I'll be heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcement. So this is in reference... The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no lord. Okay. <clears throat> well, we can pass a Baldurian check to say Lord Gortash? I thought he was no more than a counselor. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. 
Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. Um... That's right, but I've heard this bedridden fellow might be able to help. I'm not as hopeful as Floric. For my money, we're better off strategizing without him. Karlak has something to say. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Um. Me too, a man like that has no place in power. Or actually, we'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. Oh, the city, Baldur's Gate, home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. If you're poking around this god's forsaken place, you must have someone in Moonrise, too. Hope you find them. Well, that means he certainly does. Nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravengard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. We see what we see. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Daniel and me are climb, climbing up a tree. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just. wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. <clears throat> Interesting. We could say, we could pass a bar check to say, I've never heard that too. Might be an original composition. Maybe he was a musician. Music's a powerful source of memories. We might be able to bring him around if we find what he used to play. Uh, we can pass a bar check to search his body for any indication of a preferred instrument. You notice the distinctive calluses on the man's hands, the kind only developed from decades of playing the lute. Interesting. That name he mentioned, Daniel, who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. What's wrong with him? A century locked inside a Sharon curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. 
We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who'll want to be seeing you. Cat5 says the next time you're in your camp, talk to Halson. Will do. We can say, let me have a look at him. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Uh, let's see. We can try to pass a medicine check or an arcana check or a detect thoughts check. Let's try arcana. It may be some kind of magical affliction. And it's a difficult one and we've only got two bonuses. Let's try it. can't determine the nature of his ailment. We can try to pass a medicine check and observe his present condition. We can pass a 14. It's gonna be tricky. Ah. You notice nothing that might indicate a prognosis. Finally, we can probe his mind by trying to detect his thoughts. And this one is only an 11. Finally. Vanilla. Vanilla. Repeat what we heard in his mind, Daniel. We are living. We are dead. Two of us safe to the end. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Flame of Kulag, do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. And we can leave. You pass in his pocket. Hmm. Looks official. Journal updated, wake up Art Kulag. Warn letter. Assignee Art Kolog, rank Flame, objective to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs, headed by Kethric Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Orders take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Nor note the region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saloon, but rumors indicate a Sharan enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Signed, Grand Duke Elton. Wonder what he found. So do we play the loot ar around him? Mm -hmm. I think I currently have a uh, Spider's Liar equipped, not a loot. Uh, I think I've got a loot back at camp. So I'd have to go back to get one. Perception failed. That might be worth a look. Hello, thank you, Gail. A loose plank. Inside we've got a snowburst ring. Whenever the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target. And we've got a scribbled note.
The journal's script is, antiqui is, is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I'd hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted toll house keeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they've something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I'd hoped to learn more about Kethrick Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. Send all this booze back to camp. Oh dear. Okay, that's fine for now. Right, well, we're running out of time. If we're going to talk with her before the broadcast ends, we need to do it now. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. We could try to pass a medicine check to smell the wine first, but that's probably going to deeply offend her. We'll say, you'll have to pardon my friend Carlac. She is very excited to meet you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's an honor, milady. <laughs> I will gladly drink to your health as well, Garlac. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'll just trust her to your very good health. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? We can pass a bar check to say I've done so much since the crash. Who's to say it's the tadpole that's changed me? You speak frivolously. I do not believe you grasp the cost of what we're dealing with. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Um... What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, 
only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. We can pass a bar check to say, tales of the undead are often exaggerated. You're sure you killed him? Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, uh -oh. it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. What do you have in mind? Once Ketherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Interesting. Well, we've got a number of ways to agree to it, and as a bard, I'll choose to pass the bard check to say, the glorious true soul bardy horn will be the performance of a lifetime. Without a cure to your infection, that lifetime might become rather limited. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadow. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Saluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Okay. <clears throat> hey, and I'm inspired. Last light's best bargains, right here. Now, um, the cat told me not to trust her, not to trust the cleric. So, a little worried there. I've only got a few minutes left, and I know that so many of you are not going to want to see me end the broadcast without putting Karlak out of her misery. If I wanted water, I would bloody ask for So let's end Don't the day. shy. Have a gander at the fine... There we go. Hey, soldier. I thought I might come visit you later, when everyone's asleep. Uh, let's see, uh, hmm. <laughs> Shall I knock the others out to hurry them up? <laughs> Please. We've waited long enough, I think. See you later. I can't wait. Right, now I believe I've got streaming mode enabled, which means I shouldn't get demonetized for what we're about to see. Uh, is there a way for me to double check that? Options, gameplay, online settings. Where does it say nudity? Or I hope it's, I hope I don't get in pro. Maybe I should just, um, Maybe I should just do this and start it. There will be sound, says Mr. Virus. Oh, will there? Oh, dear. Uh, maybe I should mute it. Uh, can I mute it? There we go. I have muted it. There's one for nudity, says Cat5.
Yeah, I thought I turned it off when I started the show, or when I started the game. Uh, game play. I'm just double checking <laughs> to make sure that I've got nudity turned off. It wouldn't be in key bindings. Would it be in video? Model quality, overall preset, uh, animation, advanced. Elliot says, wow, Ox is really trying to take the fun out of things. All right. Hold on a second. I've got the audio on, but I've turned it way down. How about that? Hmm. I don't see an option. I mean, where does it, where's the option? I'm just going to trust it. I got, I'm going to have to trust it. Let the sound play and let us imagine what happened. All right, hold on a second. We're going to... Oh, you guys really, you really don't want to miss out on the sound there. Okay, hold on. Go to bed. I've got my finger on the... Uh, do I have to use... I haven't used any... Okay, let's do a partial rest. Will that work? There was an option. You totally missed it. Oh, is it not turned on? Oh, my God. Tutorials. Save options. Camera options. Default online settings. Video. General. Gamma correction. Quality. Model quality. Shadow cloud texture. Animation level of detail advanced. Okay, what do you what do you mean there was an option? The last one, I think? In accessibility. Oh. Uh, colorblind show okay, here we go. Explicit content. Thank you. Show cinematic nudity. Share private moments. Alright, it's all turned off. Okay. Hope for the best. Let's try partial rest. Camp without supplies. You will not use any camp supplies, but your hit points and spell slots will only be restored up to half their maximum, and you won't regain any short rests. Well, I haven't used anything since my last rest, so we should be okay for that. Let's continue. I think the others are asleep. Uh -oh. Hi. Oh, and I, I gotta actually talk through this, okay. Um, we can shift awkwardly, or we can say, How are you feeling? Or, Hello, darling. Uh, that's a bit. That's a, how are you feeling? Like a creature. Pulse. Heat. Desire. Since I met you, all I wanted was to be close to you. We're sure I won't hurt you, right? Uh, we can say, let's take things slowly, or believe me, I can handle myself and you. Or, well, actually, it might be better for us to sleep alone for the time being. Let's say I can handle myself and you. May I test that theory? Oh, got, got, got my finger on the, on the button. Okay, go on. What did you have in mind? Or on second thought, let's slow things down. Wow, we can really back out of this. Let's go. Go on. Say it loud. I'm yours, Karlak. Well, maybe not forever. Uh, but for tonight... <sighs> My name sounds so good in your mouth. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, uh, uh. Just testing. Yeah, yeah, it works. The button works. Okay. I'd like to take you to bed now. It's very direct of you. <laughs> uh, okay. I like you, Karlak, but I don't think I want to sleep together. What kind of guy goes this far? And then at the very end, is like, eh, that was fun, but no. Hang on, this has gone too far. I think I want to be alone after all. Or I thought you'd never ask. 
Hmm. Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. Uh huh. Yep. Get right there in the beard. Avoid the tusks. Yep. I know I'm a half orc. They can be tricky. Ah! Hey! Well, that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. Well, if you have nudity turned off, they completely skip the scene. They don't. It's completely skipped. No sound effects. No black bars or boxes or anything. No blurred out parts. No, it, they just completely skip it. Wow. Well, now we know. Okay, well, uh, let's see. We've got a couple of exclamation points around here. Ooh, including Shadowheart. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's go talk with Karlak first. Well, I think, I think the chat is really disappointed. Uh, we could watch her quietly say, Last night I dreamt a bird was singing to me, and look, there she is. Or morning, not so sleepy head. <sighs> oh, <laughs> God, sorry. I was in my own world. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Sorry I didn't wait around this morning. I was just. just buzzing. Didn't want to wake you. Buzz, buzz, buzz. I loved being able to touch you last night, hold you, kiss you, all of it. I loved it too. <laughs> More than I've ever loved anything. <laughs> last night was uh, incredible. <laughs> this morning is incredible. Every moment with you is beyond belief. No, <laughs> uh, just don't fall in love you with me. You still like me, right? Uh, we could say I'm much more than like you. We could say about that, dot, 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 or of course I do, never doubt it. And, uh, and nothing bad is going to happen now. Uh, we could pass a deception check to say, no, no, nothing bad is ever going to happen to us again. <clears throat> well, because I think you know better than that. Or if our record is to go by, there's there are plenty of disasters in our future, but we'll face them together. In that case, bring it on. I adore you, you know. And here we could say, I love you. Or we could say, thank you. <laughs> thanks, yeah, thanks for that. That's, that's really nice, thanks. Yeah. Or we could say, I adore you too. Adoration is nice. Chef Breccia says two, 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 and I can't say, look, I've got a lot of, of people here that I might want to get close to. I don't want to commit to any of them, so I'm going to say I adore you too. <laughs> Thank the gods for that. I guess we better get the day on. So much to do, so much to see. Together. Way! Yeah, way! Mr. Virus says, I appreciate you. Yes, there was a lot of appreciation going on last night. Uh, Shadow Heart? Hey, what have you got to say, Shadow Heart? Uh-oh. I can't help but notice you seem happier of late. There's a spring in your step that wasn't there before. Just a pity I'm not responsible for it. <laughs> we could say, I'm sorry, but Karlak has won my heart. Or we could say, I'm not a swan. I don't mate for life. I want to be with you and Karlak. Or, I didn't realize you felt that way about me. Um, hmm. I'm going to try to? I admire your ambition. And your belief in your own stamina. But Karlak deserves to have you to herself. And perhaps there's yet someone out there for me. What? There's no hard feelings. No! Genuinely. You deserve happiness. And I'm more than glad to remain with you to bear witness to it. Crap! That's not what I wanted! How do I avoid that? I'm gonna have to reload a save and try this again. 
How do I avoid that? We could say, I'm glad to have you as a friend, or I'm sorry. For what it's worth, you sure you don't hate me? Don't be foolish. You're far too handsome to hate. You can't, Ox, says Cat5. And I bet I can. I bet you if I find a way to romance her first, before Karlak, then she'd be too, I don't know, enamored of me to dump me after. Cat5 says you can have either or, but not both. Oh, man. It'll make you pick, says Cat5. That's a bummer. That's rubbish. In Starfield, I could have them all. <laughs> I had I had everyone. I could have Barrett, Andrea. I could have them all. Well, I don't know if I'm ready to commit to any of these people yet. I'm going to reload my save. There's the auto save at the campsite, and there's my hard save at the last light in. Let's load the game. Eclipse says, I picked three, then I broke it off with Carlac, lol. <laughs> Aerobico says, uh, Ox, when you get into an intimate scene with somebody, you get locked with that character. Really? Really? That's how the game works? That's a bummer. Tony J says, nah, you broke Barrett's heart, Ox, did I? Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. No, it was Cole. It was Cole that I romanced, right? Cat5 says, one of them or none of them, unless you want to add Halson. So, accept him. Ah, oh, wow. Well, I don't know. I think at, in the, at the end of the, the day, I'd probably pick Karlak anyway, because she's fun. Shadowheart, Premium trinket Shadowheart's Judas. just got a lot to deal with first. And the Githyanki? Lizelle? I don't know. Uh, Karlak's the best, I think. I like Karlak the best. So she's probably the one I would pick anyway. But uh, I don't want to make that choice now. See There's a lot of game left. Maybe Is we'll just leave Karlak waiting. <laughs> Maybe the, not, she finally gets her... Her chest area fixes, Last she can touch people, market. and we're like, yeah, not yet. Here. Just hold on there. Hang tight. We've got time. We've got time. I wonder if we wait too long and she gets pissed off. I wonder if that happens. I guess we'll find out. All right, everybody, that's it for today's broadcast. We are 11 minutes over time. Thanks for joining me. Managed to do the entire thing on my, my mobile connection. I'm sure that won't bite me in the butt later when it comes time to pay my bill. Well, either way, thanks for joining me, everybody. It is, it is snowing outside. Is Have it still snowing? It is. It is gently snowing outside, so hopefully I'll be able to be here tomorrow for scotch and smoke rings. Uh, I'll let you know either way what comes of that, but uh, have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday, everybody. I'm going to start working on my lore video for the weekend. I've already made good progress, and it's a good one. It continues the story of the railroad story um, instead of the Institute. So we've already done the railroad exclusive side quests. Premium. But um, to see how the main story progresses from the railroad's perspective is what we're going to be diving into next. And that's really exciting to finally get to, and I can't wait to share it all with you. So stay tuned for that for the weekend. Have a wonderful rest of your night, everybody, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.